Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. I'm Sierra. Today's video is sponsored by Masuka, which is a skincare brand that sells natural raw honey face masks. Now, these face masks actually contain natural raw leatherwood honey in them, which is a very rare and pristine type of honey found in the Tarkine rainforests of Tasmania. Now, they sent me over some face masks to test out and review for you guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing just that. I'm gonna go over each of the face masks that they sent me, the benefits that they provide, and how I personally like to use them. that it came in, this super cute honeycomb looking box. And then this is the packaging that the actual face mask is in. So this is 40% raw leatherwood honey in it. So basically this jar is almost half full of honey, which has all of those great antioxidant and antibacterial properties inside of it. And then the rest is also full of 100% natural ingredients as well. And they have their own beneficial properties too. So I'm gonna go over the deep moisturizing face mask like you know the benefits and the ingredients inside of it and then I'll show you where I like to apply it the most. Okay, so as I mentioned before, these face masks contain natural raw leatherwood honey in them. And honey has actually been used as a natural health remedy dating all the way back thousands of years. So what makes these face masks so special is that they're using natural raw honey in them and not a honey extract. By using raw honey, it ensures that the product is in its purest form and that it preserves all of the natural antioxidant and antibacterial properties found within it. This is the deep moisturizing face mask and it of course contains natural raw leatherwood honey in it, which helps actually lock in your skin's moisture. But their other ingredients include avocado oil, watermelon extract, apple extract, and French green clay. So those all work together to keep your skin nice and hydrated. So even though this is a deep moisturizing face mask, it does contain French green clay in it, which has a lot of minerals that work to detoxify your skin by removing impurities. The avocado oil has uh, vitamins in it that helps moisturize your skin and increase collagen production. And then the watermelon extract has vitamin C and amino acids that helps cell generation and cell turnover. And lastly, the apple extract found within the face mask has a lot of amino acids that work to protect your skin from harmful radicals found in the environment. So there are a lot of beneficial properties found inside this mask and even anti-aging properties as well. Now this face mask can definitely be used all over your face Face, but since I'm going to be stacking face masks today and going over two different face masks, I'm just going to target in the areas that I need it most. So right here in my forehead and then my cheeks kind of tend to be the driest this time of year. So I'm going to apply it right there and then the other face mask I'll be using on my nose and my chin for more detoxifying. Which actually brings me to the second face mask I'll be going over and that is the Gentle Clarifying Face Mask by Masuko. This is the Gentle Clarifying Face Mask, and this face mask also contains 40% raw leatherwood honey in it. And the honey in this mask has great antiseptic and antibacterial properties that help prevent breakouts by limiting the amount of bacteria that resides on your skin. French Purple Clay found within the mask works to help purify and smooth your skin. And there's also Bulgarian Lavender and Orange Peel Lavender that have anti-inflammatory and antiseptic properties that make it really effective at healing acne scars or skin irritations. So since this is more of a clarifying face mask, I'm going to use it right here on my nose and on my chin. All right, so now I'm gonna leave this on for about 10 minutes and then wash it off. The green is the moisturizing face mask, so we're gonna be moisturizing in these areas. And then the pink is the detoxifying, so we're gonna be talking detoxifying like my nose and my chin where I tend to get the most breakouts. Um, if you get breakouts right here too, this is a great spot to put it. So anywhere that you're really getting breakouts, you can put this on, but I wanted to focus more moisturizing on these sides so that I can get a little bit more moisturized moisture in those areas. This does contain honey in it too, so it's not going to completely dry down 100% like a regular like clay mask would, but in 10 minutes, it'll be ready to take off and wash off.
All right, guys, that is it. I went ahead and washed the rest off with warm water because that's really how you're supposed to do it. It's a lot easier to remove the honey consistency with warm water rather than just a warm washcloth. Um, the washcloth definitely helps, but this is the final look. Um, you're not really gonna see a huge difference in just one use, but I can definitely feel a huge difference. The so It's so soft. I've been using this for a little bit and I actually love the way that it feels. It's so soothing. It feels really good on the skin. A little bit consistency is sticky because it does have honey in it but other than that it feels really great really soothing um, great at cleansing and clarifying and everything else just feels nice and hydrated which is perfect during these winter months because skin is the driest at that time so if you guys have any questions or I didn't go over anything that you wanted me to talk about just let me know down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time